So, happy Monday and welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. Today, three players we're going to speak about. One of them has been previously linked with a move to us in January. I'll come on to him shortly. Don't forget, you can go back and check out my On This Day. It's a series I've started trying to get that off the ground. Please go and give that some love. That was dropped at nine o'clock last night. So go and give that a little watch. Um, spoke about a few players in that. One notably being Martin Keown. Um, go and give that a little watch. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments section down below. Don't forget also, later on today, 5 p.m., I'll be doing a live stream, as always, on my channel. So come and take part in that as well if you can. If not, follow up later on. Leave your comments in the comments section. I'll do my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. But player number one we're going to speak about today is a young lad. I say young lad, he's young for a centre-back. And that is a guy called Edda Balanta. Um, he is a 26-year-old Basel centre-back. He can play centre-back, he can also play left-back, and he can play defensive midfield. Colombian player, the fee reported is around the £4 million barrier. He has got 12 months left on his current contract. Now, this guy is physically strong, fantastic in aerial duels. Um, he is very good at reading the game, and he also has a great turn of pace. So when he plays on the left-back position, he can burst away from players that are in and around him. Um, back in 2013, Barcelona wanted this guy um, when he was at River Plate, and he had a £30 million buyout clause in his contract. That scared off Barcelona. He ended up going to Basel, and um, this season he has played 31 games, three goals, which isn't fantastic for a centre-back, but not bad. Overall, 81 games for Basel, five goals, two assists. Now, for £4 million, we could do a lot, lot worse than going and signing this guy. And with the fact that Mustafi is an absolute liability, the fact that Koscielny's coming towards the end of his Arsenal career, and the fact that Nacho Monreal has been shoehorned into the centre-back position, I think that this guy could be a good investment. As I said before, for a 26-year-old playing at centre-back, that is relatively young nowadays. They go on until the mid-30s now, some of them. Even later, Barzagli is the same age as me. In fact, he's older than me. He's 37, over 37. So some of these centre-backs do not go on and they push up towards the, the late 30s. So... For £4 million, this could be an absolute steal. Now, we were linked with him about a week ago, and I thought, let me sit back and wait. Um, I don't want to jump the gun with this one. But we're linked with him again. Um, talk that we're having uh, meetings with him. Our representatives are speaking to his, etc., etc. So I would be happy if this happened. I don't know a massive amount about him. I know he played against Man United in a game, a Champions League game. Um, but other than that, I don't know a great deal about him. I know that he is very quick and I know that he's very versatile. So that could suit Unai Emery's style. The fact that he can play in a multiple um, amount of positions over the defensive line. And that is something that we may need going forward. We've seen Maitland Knowles do it. Maitland Knowles has played it right back. Um, he can play at central midfield, attacking midfield. Um, he's even played at right wing as well. So. I think this would be a perfect signing for Arsenal and very cheap. £4 million, pound, he'd be on what, maybe 30, 40 grand a week. That's literally peanuts in today's market. The next player we're going to speak about is a current loan E. He is on loan at AC Milan, and that is Frank Kessi. Now, he has been on a two year loan from Atalanta. Um, now, Arsenal were interested in this guy. Spurs and West Ham also linked with him as well today. Um, £24 million is the fee, which isn't too bad. The guy's 22 years old, so relatively young. Um, he seems to have been around for years. This guy has been on the radar for years and years and years. And, you know, Atalanta signed him three seasons ago. He's still got three seasons left on his current contract. Um, seven goals this season, two assists. Not great, but not too bad. Um, he can play, again, a, m a magnitude of positions. He can play in central midfield, attacking midfield, and defensive midfield. Predominantly, he is a central midfielder. And he's under contract until 2022. His Serie A record is not too bad. 96 games overall, 
12 goals, 9 assists. Now, for £24 million, again, it's the sort of market we are shopping in. We are shopping in that £20 to £30 million shop. We're not shopping in the 50 to 60, 70 millions. I think them days are done for us right now. The fact that our wage bill is astronomic, the fact that we've got so much dead wood at the football club um, would suggest that we're not going to go out there and do the marquee signings that me and every other fan want. And I think that's probably the right way to go right now. We've got the likes of Mesut Ozil, uh, Mkhitaryan, Aubameyang, Kalazanak. They're all on massive, massive wages. Even Hector Bellerin's on over 100 grand a week. Granit Xhaka, Mustafi, players like that. Now, in my opinion, this would be a perfect sign-in. If you put him in midfield alongside Lucas Torreira, I think that would make our midfield firstly better. But not only that, it would make it more um, physically stronger as well. And the guy can chip in with goals. I've just said his record in Serie A. The guy chips in with goals. Would he be an Aaron Ramsey replacement? Not quite sure about that one. He doesn't score enough goals for me. Um, but his work rate, his desire and his hunger and his ball recoveries are ridiculous. We've seen him firsthand when he played for AC Milan against us um, in the Europa League. Now, in that game, he didn't cover himself in great glory. But I thought he'd done reasonably well. And... Like I said, for about the £24 million mark, that's not a bad signing. The guy is only 22 years old. So let's assume he comes to the Premier League. Let's assume he signs for Arsenal. Put him on a four-year contract. In two years' time, and I keep repeating myself on my live streams, um, on these transfer videos and other videos I do, sign a player for around the £20-odd million pound barrier. Bring him in. If he hits the ground running, like a Lucas Torreira, instantly the following season they are worth more money you then go and offer him a new contract on a 20 grand a week more 15 grand a week more more whatever it may be and then if anybody wants to come in and buy them they're strapped up to a longer deal on better money they now have to pay you a massive fee to go and get that player off of you but if you want to keep the player you've now made the player exceptionally good and he is now a proper Premier League player. It's a win-win situation. The only way it's not a win situation is if you spend £24 million, give him 60 grand a week, he comes in and absolutely flops. But if he does that, you get rid, you cut ties, you sell him for 16, 18 million, 20 million, you've lost four or five million pounds. It's a no-brainer. Go and sign this guy, put him next to Lucas Torreira. Our midfield is instantly better. Now, the last player we're going to speak about today is um, Ivan Perisic. Now, we were linked with this guy all throughout January. That never came to fruition in the end. Now, he has got a new agent, Nelio Lucas, and he has held talks with Juventus and AC Milan and is reportedly heading to North London to speak to representatives of Arsenal and Tottenham. And again, we were both linked in January to this guy. Now, £30 million is the fee. He's a left winger that can play right wing. He can also play attacking midfield. Contracted until 2022. And this season, he's played 45 games, 9 goals, 8 assists. Overall, in Serie A, 160 games, 40 goals, 37 assists. Which isn't actually that bad. That's what, a 1 in 2 ratio for a, a winger. That's not bad at all. And I'd... I'm sort of 50-50 on this. I'd be open to him coming in, but at the same time, his age scares me a little bit. The fact that he is 30 years old, um, how long is he going to have left? What, another three years maybe? He's only going to get worse, in my opinion. I do not think this guy is worth 30 million quid for the age he is. Um, but then saying that, if you compare him to other 30-year-olds, he's actually really cheap. You know, Aubameyang's 30 years old. He'd go for 80 million, but he is a goal scorer. This guy doesn't score enough goals. He's not a Raheem Sterling. He's not going to go and bag you 20 goals a season. He'll get you your sevens to 10 goals a season. He'll chip in with five to 10 assists. For me, don't think that's good business whatsoever. I don't think that Arsenal should be going out and looking at this guy. I think that when you compare him to somebody like Ryan Fraser, um, he's cheaper, he's younger, and his output is better. 
and he's done it in a league which is a lot, lot tougher and more intense than the league even Perisic is playing in. So for me, I wouldn't be looking at this guy. Um, I don't think Arsenal were looking at this guy. I think this is more something to do with his agent just trying to tout him, get him out there, um, try and get the best deal, which is what an agent's job is to do, get their client the best deal. But like I said, not for me. I don't want this guy anywhere near Arsenal. I'd much rather go and spend that money on um, Kessie or even so, go and spend it on Ryan Fraser. Anyway, leave it all in the comments section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, I will be back at 5 p.m. today with my live stream. Come and join in, get involved. I'll answer as many questions in that as I can. And don't forget, please go back and check out my On This Day from last night. Nine o'clock, I dropped that yesterday. Go back through the channel and check that out. Subscribe if you're new. Let's push it up to 20K. Um, stick a like on the video and share the content around. Until 5 p.m., I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.